Ben Henry has the renewed push to protect firefighters by outfitting them with life-saving gear. So we get a few measurements off of you. This is St. Paul Fire Captain Stephen Capping. If you want to hold this. Getting fit okay. for his very own ballistic vest. Just let me know how that fits. It's not required, but as an EMS supervisor. How does it feel? Feels good. Capping welcomed the opportunity to get one for free. It makes me feel a lot better. Is this something that you thought of? No, I never thought of it until now. See, it started with a Facebook post from the St. Paul Fire Foundation reminding followers about their bulletproof vest initiative. Bet you within four or five hours, I had it fully funded. Capping says that was thanks to friends and family. Empire to 45, 183. The support came in the days following three Burnsville first responders shot and killed in the line of duty. We go on similar calls like that all the time. It could happen to any one of us. This vest that Ryan's putting on is a level two vest. At the Brooklyn Park Fire Department, those potentially life-saving vests have been part of their gear since 2020. Times are changing, and we need to do whatever we can to protect our firefighters, our paramedics, and our police officers. It's something we talk about more and more. I mean, Eric Bullen is president of the Minnesota State Fire Chiefs Association and chief of the Albertville Fire Department were after a dangerous fire call. And he was met in the backyard by the homeowner who had a handgun. Ballistic vests were purchased for his crews. But I would expect to, to see growing numbers. Um, we've had county chiefs meetings where people have asked, what's your policy on this stuff? So even chiefs are, are taking a look at this as a department-wide initiative. A helper being helped, how is that? <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, like I said, we don't do it for the glory or anything. So when somebody actually helps us do our job better. It's it's special. Last legislative session, lawmakers added firefighters to the list of eligible first responders able to partially get reimbursed for bullet resistant vests. Some of these vests are more than a thousand dollars and not all departments require them, so they have to get them themselves. That is the firefighters. We have a link under the featured on five tab on our app for people to donate to the St. Paul Fire Foundation's push. Lindsay, people can even make a note if they want to get it to a specific firefighter. Hmm. All right, Ben, we have to keep them safe best we can.